Where is it? No, I did not. Where no, I did this? not. No. It's like a leopard. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Driver Motorsports. I feel like I have to yell even though I'm mic'd up because of the loud truck. Sorry. Hey, so just wanted to give you guys a quick shop update. What's going on, what we got, what you want to do. First off, this beautiful 1995 Nissan Laurel, Laurel, however you want to call it. RB25 DET. Uh, it's going to be up for sale soon. We have a few little things we need to do to it yet. Um, yeah, balance the tires, just stupid little stuff, really. A few more aesthetic things, but it's it's a pretty cool car. Definitely unique. I mean, when's the last time you saw one of those, you know what I mean? Um, next up, we have this beautiful Cresta. We can come back to the front. Uh, pictures were just taken of it last night. It's a GX90 Cresta. Uh, you can get into this one cheap, fellas. Real cheap. Um, next is our uh, Junction Produce Y33 Gloria Broham. Uh, we're keeping that for a shop car. Pretty excited about that. Got a uh, couple of Junction Produce goodies on the way, some, some leather interior bits, and yes, we are going to change the wheels. Those are currently only 18, so they're a little small on there. Next we have this beautiful Y33 SEMA. Um, looks just like an Infiniti Q45, except right-hand drive. Super ballin'. Uh, another Y33 SEMA. This one actually is a V6 Turbo. It's the same V6 Turbo that comes in the Y33 Cedric and Glorias. Um, and then on the end over there, we have a Y33 Leopard. Beautiful car. Uh, I love the Leopard personally. It just has that aggressive front end. It kind of like, I think of it as like, now I don't want to say it's an R34 front end, but like it's kind of got the, that aggressive like, it's like a leopard. Sorry. <clears throat> Customer GTR, we're doing a build on. Uh, this is my uh, Y33 Cedric. Tuck and rim, you know. I saw somebody comment on that. Yeah. On the, on the last post that we've done on this, they're like, oh, it's great, except for the, the wheel tucks. Well, that's fine. It can be you raised. Um, but yeah, so I have that. I'm going to sell it soon at some point. Shameless plug if you're interested. Haha. -ha. Uh, I say we, we got the sunglasses on. I say we just go around and then come back through. All right. Okay. Already got out front. It looks beautiful. It's so nice out here. Yeah, it is. Look, I got shorts on today. Oh, It's man. beautiful. I love markets like this. You want to pan back at those beautiful cars one more time just so you can see them all. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Now we can go this way. Land Cruiser, Chris been driving it around, doing his thing. Got them uh, big old Falcon Rubicons, uh, Rubitrack on it, sorry, excuse me. Um, here's a Y33. Uh, it has a crack in the windshield right here, that you can probably see. So, this car came in in September. We finally got the windshield Monday, Thursday. We just got the windshield. Took forever to find one, took forever to ship. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a nice car. Um, it's VQ turbo. It's going to be lowered. It has the factory aero, which is super sought after. Um, and no, we will not sell you the aero. C33 Laurel customer car. Parts are on the way for that. Uh, the Celsius here is going to get the VIP treatment soon. Uh, oh, another shameless plug. You ready? <clears throat> Put wheels and coilovers on my Q45 last night. It does need to go lower in the back, I'm sorry. My, uh, my coilovers is maxed out. It's the, the joys of uh, buying a car that no one makes coilovers for. But I'm bummed. Got some Land Cruisers over here. Got a, some. a some, yeah. Some. We have uh, two Land Cruiser Prados. Um, oh, you should check out the paint on this one too. It's really cool. Dude. So we got this, this Prado. Yeah, uh, currently I'm in the process of trying to find some, uh, some front hubs for this because the four-wheel drive doesn't work and they're automatic hubs and they don't work. If you want to wish me luck, I would appreciate it. 
Um, but yeah, look at the paint on this. Do you see like, it uh, it's, has not been polished yet, as you can tell by the massive amount of swirl marks, but like, look at that, dude. Whoa. Yeah, we thought like it was a, black. Like a brown, like, yeah. or like a rust orange, sort of. Rust is a bad word. We it's don't... not rust, but that's a, that's a, that's a uh, Kendrick just said it's kind of like a rust orange. I would not agree with that. I believe it is a beautiful shade of poop. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, got this Land Cruiser. Uh, Bronze, Better. there we go, bronze. Yeah, we're gonna go with bronze. Uh, this Land Cruiser, uh, big, black, beautiful. Uh, already sold though, sorry. This diesel Land Cruiser, I got a new grill on the way, cause you know, she a little busted. Uh, another really nice truck, needs a little paint work here and there. Um, but we got new tires on the way for that too. Uh, Falcon uh, Wild Peak AT3s, I believe. Uh, let's see. Keep up, Kendrick. Come on, let's go. I'm good. Oh, okay. Oh, you're just shooting wide? Yeah. Okay. All right. Next, we just checked out the trucks you saw. Uh, got this beautiful, I, I need to come up with a better adjective. We have this wonderful <laughs> Nissan President Sovereign. Uh, I think you guys have probably already seen a little bit about this car. Uh, currently are waiting on coilovers to get in because it's the same chassis as the Q45 that I have. And like I said, no one makes coilovers for it. So doing some custom, you know, little, you know, you know. JZX100 Chaser, uh, one JZ GTE. It's got some TRD super brakes on it. It has a TRD seat, a couple of other nice little TRD things. Um, some OGTEs, which is awesome and hard to find. Uh, beautiful pro paint. Beautiful. There we go again. But you can see, I don't, you can see this has not been polished yet either, but you can see like it's just like yellow. Yeah, so uh, this is going to be coming up for sale shortly. Uh, you know, still, you know, a few more aesthetic things to do to it. Needs an alignment, you know, just a few little things. Uh, we have this awesome uh, TH1. R32 GTST. Um, we've gotten it in, waiting on some parts. Needs a Hikus Delete, needs front upper control arms because it's an R32 GTR, or GTST. It's an R32 chassis, they all need them. Toyota Crown Majesta, gonna be putting that up shortly. Got a, some little bumper work to do on that. Uh, we have this car sold. We're gonna be doing a build series on that, so stay tuned for that. Uh, this JZX100, we're going to be selling on consignment very soon. Um, getting the arrow a little tweaked, fixed up. Uh, and also, those wheels are not staying on it. You're welcome. <laughs> Customer car, uh, Y33 SEMA, we're going to sell stock. Consignment car, we're waiting on turbos to get here. Cadence car, my car, customer car. Customer car, parts are ordered on the way. This one needs to get pimped out. Uh, have coilovers for it, have wheels for it, just need a little bit more time to do it. <gasps> Look, behold, gravel. For our dirt spot, you guys saw our dirt spot. It's ugly. They, uh, they saw it in the dyno video. Cause I saw oh, it in the dyno. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, there's our sweet dirt spot. Hey, uh, let, me go, uh, let me go get Chris. All right, sorry about that, I'm back now. This thing, hot, like hot, so hot. Looking good. Good job. <laughs> yeah, general manager Ed doing a little everything. All right, so yeah, this thing super hot. I love these wheels. Some of my favorites. Uh, let's see if they left it unlocked. Good, they did not, but this one has black leather interior. I, that truck is so loud. Okay, well, we can come back to this if you want. We can just, let's just, Good job, Chris. let's just walk down this side. Yeah. Oh, Devin! Should I reach in and, or yell in, tell him to turn down his music so we don't get copyrighted? Yeah. I'll just go slow. You can just let him point, just point him at my car for a little bit. Tell me how bad I need paint. Probably passing out Kendrick's eardrum. Sorry, Kendrick. It's fine. <laughs> I was just yelling at people in here, so Kendrick's deaf now. Sorry, Kendrick. All right, um, wow. 
Good job, Devin. Got it out already. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, huh, they can't hear you. Uh, he said 14 hours. Not bad. 14 hours. <laughs> he said four. He's really fast with it, you know? Uh, yeah. So, uh, low compression on this RB20. It's got an RB25 turbo. It's a customer car. So, we have another long block we're going to throw in it for him. Um, Devin's hard at work on that. You can't hear him. It's fine. He's just talking. Yeah. So yeah, there's this. You've seen the beautiful fabrication corner. I had to use it last night. Remember about those coilovers I said that they don't make for my car? I had to use this corner. Uh, this is Sal's GTR. Definitely had some more progress done on this. It doesn't look like it because all the parts are pulled off and sent to powder coat already now. <laughs> um, that being said, speaking of progress, you should probably come check out uh, Chris's uh, track car over here. Devin finished welding up the exhaust manifold. I don't know what the last thing you guys have seen, but I came I back here. I, I came back here the other day. And I was like, oh, wow, you finished up the exhaust manifold. So he finished up the exhaust manifold. Uh, he made this sweet uh, pie cut down pipe. How many pie cuts, Devin? <laughs> yeah. 21 pie cuts, not to be confused with 21 pilots in that downpipe uh, so far, and he's got more to do. Uh, we're going to get a wastegate mounted up in there and figure out where the screamer pipe is going to be recirculated. It's not a screamer pipe. The intake manifold is made as well. Uh, he already had one made, but we customized this one a little bit. Oh, sorry, two other ones made. <laughs> Third time the charm. Uh, so yeah, it's cool to see some progress happening on this thing. Um, they were messing around yesterday with intercooler and radiator placement, so that's why the, uh, that's why the bumper's on, yeah. On. Yep. Stop it. Stop it. Whatever you're doing, stop doing it. Stop doing it. Is it loud. <laughs> that's loud. <laughs> they can't hear you. I've heard in my ears. Look at that. Look at that fine detail work happening right there. Yep. It's all about quality, man. Quality. Some people talk about mini buffers. That's a mini buffer. You just take some Q-tips, cut them in half, grab some compound, stick it in a drill, and press it in the gun. Go to town. <laughs> all right. Go from there. Uh, this, is, this is a stock crown we're going to be selling very shortly. Uh, it's beautiful and stock. Really low miles. Uh, we thought we were gonna, you know, do the thing with it. So it has window tint. Sorry, not sorry. Enjoy your uh, privacy. Uh, as soon as this is, CJ is done with this, it's gonna go into the uh, other detail bay. Get the interior knocked out. Get some tire shine on it. You know, do the thing. And then pictures are getting taken of it tonight. Tonight. I told Tevin two cars tonight. You better roll. Let's go. Let's leave him alone. Let him keep working. Yeah, get out. Sorry, it's gonna get loud again. I'll try to, I'll do this. Is that better? Okay. Uh, this black Y32 here, we're gonna be selling on consignment very shortly. Uh, we were pulling it out from getting it checked in. Uh, found it needed tires, so we're gonna order tires. Pulling it out, uh, the window, driver's side window was rolled down and then it did not go up. So currently waiting on a window motor for that to come in. Uh, it is dead as a doornail. Uh, gonna pop another one in. Got this Leopard, same type of thing, just waiting on us to find a little bit of time to throw wheels and coilovers on it. Uh, customer GTR here, waiting on a tune currently. And that's about it for the back. Back, now we can go back into the shop. I'm kind of trying to say back. Hey, all right, so uh, another cells here. Silver and gray, don't see very many in this color scheme. Also has leather interior, which you also don't see very often. Yeah, those tires are going on. We're gonna, we're gonna actually raise it up um, and we're gonna make it a rally Celsius. Sweet. Yeah, so if you're interested in a rally Celsius, hook it up, shoot us an old DM. Um, we can make it happen, but no, for real though. This is almost done. We're currently waiting on a O-ring 
that is the size of my finger that goes at the bottom of the power steering reservoir that was just leaking. So we're waiting on that. Um, once that comes in, um, I'll need to get it aligned and then it'll be good to go. Uh, this Crown Majesta over here, we all thought it was black. It's dark green. It's very hard to see. You'll, uh, you, you'll be able to see it better once it gets polished. Um, currently is getting a valve cover gaskets put on it. It will have coilovers and wheels soon. I got some wheels in mind for it. We're going to see. Should be good. I'm just seeing if this guy's going to hit the building. He got pretty close. Pretty close. All right, let's go up front. All right, um, I would love to be able to sell you this beautiful white cells here, but it's already sold. Sorry. I could sell you a 240Z. Yeah. Be happy to do that. Um, this RX-7 is not quite pending. We have somebody that's supposed to send money shortly. Um, oh, and there's the windshield that I was talking about for forever. Hey. Yep. You know how many comments we get about this wheel wall, bro? Bro, like, how freaking cool does it look, though? I know, but so many people are like, I could post it every single day and everybody would be fine. Just wheels. like. Same wheels, yeah, every day. You can make that the thumbnail. Um, and then last but certainly not least, JZX100 Chaser. Uh, this is a 1JZ GE in this. Brand new BC Racing coilovers, fresh window tint. Uh, CR2Ps that look great. The bronze on the dark green looks really good. I was good. gonna say, it looks, it looks dark green, it's not black. Yeah, it's dark green. It's amazing how you can't make out what color cars are like in horrible Japanese auction pictures. Yeah, it's uh, like emerald jade or something like that. Oh no. Uh, it's sweet. Eb hmm. Ebony pearl? I don't know, it's some weird fancy name. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a, if you like dark greens, it's a good dark green. I don't really, not a fan. Anywho, I'm sure this video is, yeah, definitely gone on long enough. Um, thank you for coming and checking out our facility again. Uh, please. Don't stop watching yet, because there's more. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. We're going for a million subscribers by the end of the year. That's our goal, so share it. Let's see what we can get. All right, so uh, we just finished doing the, uh, the shop tour video, and the gravel's being delivered. I told Kendrick he should definitely go back and film some of that, because Homeboy has skills, he's just like, spreading it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'm pretty sure Chris is back there working, which uh, we should definitely get on camera. You can see it, you can see it right here. Watch, look, he's holding the shovel, holding the shovel. I'm so proud of him. Dude, I'm, I, I've never been so proud of him my entire life. Just look, look at him. Yeah, uh, definitely watch how this guy spreads the stone. It's pretty impressive. Right? I'm pretty sure that that's, that's not what that's designed Yeah, for. I'm pretty sure that's not a rake either. Uh, neither is that. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, we're a garage. Not, not a landscaping service. Yeah, you took it home? No, I did not. Where, where, where is it no, at? I did not. Where no, is it I at did there? not. No. Where is it at? I didn't take it home. Did he take it home? Well, well, no, I'm saying Devin. Oh, here it is. Here it is. He does, yeah, he makes I, it look real easy. I mean, you guys have seen some amazing, wonderful things right now. You've seen Chris working, denying that he took a rake home, and beautiful gravel being spread. And you saw what we use for rakes. 
cuts to the pool. 